Well, my swimming first properly started when I moved to Dubai when I was 12. Um, so then I started properly training and I started with a club there. And I started how everyone else would start, like a couple of times a week. And then gradually I built it up to eight times a week. So I was swimming before school in the mornings. Um, and yeah, and then I just took it from there and carried on through my school. And then when I got to my A-levels, I kind of had to cut it down a little bit to concentrate on that. But you know, I still kept it going. I'm very happy being swimming for the Pakistan team. So hopefully I can go as far as I can with them. I've had so many opportunities made available to me through swimming for Pakistan, which I wouldn't necessarily have received if I had tried to go for the GB team. And just like they've always been there to support me and they've, I've got to go to like so many international competitions as a result of being able to swim for Pakistan. So it wasn't a hard choice. It has been a lot of hard work. Like I haven't, got to where I want to be at all like I'm sure there's so much more to come but it's hard you have to be up early in the morning and you have to be there after school and after hours like but I'm sure like so many people love it and if they're doing that then it keeps them going but it is tough you gotta you gotta want it I used to train a lot in Dubai and then when I got here I wasn't sure what it would be like trying to balance my studies and swimming so I haven't I haven't been training with the team or anything over here but I get in as much as I can over here and I've had like eight years of experience or seven years of experience, no, so I know what to do by now when I get in. We're so excited, it's fantastic news. Um, we have some very, very talented athletes studying at the college and to see Liana doing so well uh, in her sport um, and, and mixing that with how well she's doing academically is, is great news, so we're very excited. It's fantastic, that's, that's great. I mean, she's representing her uh, country in an elite sport and doing well, and as long as she's doing the best that she can, that's what Loughborough is all about. So, um, you know, we, we like to support students to, to be the best they can be academically and also in their sport, and so the country that she's representing is, is irrelevant, it's fantastic. Someone from Pakistan, like, especially a girl, just being able to do, to swim, like there's, right now, there's like no real limitations for them. I go back at almost every year um, to swim at nationals. And like there's so many girls there being able to swim, like nothing's holding them back at the moment. So it's just nice for everybody to be able to see that. I want to see how far I can actually take it and how far I can get.